What up, nation? Doing some filming here for you guys today. Some millimeter wave coverage. Verizon's 5G ultra wideband. I believe we're connected to N260, 39 gigahertz. Uh, the node is super close. Uh, really, what I'm just trying to check on is the throughput, see if anything's been going on with network configurations and things of that nature. So uh, just checking everything out here. We got a ping at 19, a jitter at 2, loaded latencies in the 2s and 300s. 2.4 gigs down and 168 up. I was hoping to see some better uplink to see maybe if there have been any kind of firmware updates or things that have happened on the radio gear side that would make the connection a little bit better, uh, possibly. So, you know, it's a lot of bandwidth. Typically what I see is eight component carriers of millimeter wave at 100 megahertz bandwidth each, uh, along with all the LTE that supports it on NSA. I don't have access to the SA uh, on Verizon, the 5G SA, because I have a legacy plan, 2.5 gigs down, 179 up. Interestingly, I'm not really seeing anything different than what I'm used to, I guess. I was looking to see if maybe something else had changed. Let me go ahead and put that there. Easier on the filming. All right, basically still seeing the same thing. 20 ping, one jitter. Loaded latency is around 200. Okay, three gigs. I'm gonna touch 200 for uplink, maybe? Maybe, nope. All right, throw three gigs down and 184 up. Let's do another one here. Hopefully this phone doesn't overheat. Millimeter wave is some serious business. <laughs> when it comes to the, the, the thermal throttling, it could be a real issue. 2.7 gigs, 3 gigs, Samsung radio gear market, just so you guys know. All right, about 3 gigs. Uh, we're going to get the 200. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and flash airplane mode. Oh. Sometimes it helps to reset the connections. All right, let's give it another go. Pretty dang on fast. All right, so we cracked three gigs, 3.1, 3.2. We're climbing, 3.3. Let's see if we get anything on the uplink. It looks like we want to crack 200. Yeah, we did. 223 on the uplink. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Let's try up here on the dashboard. All right, three gigs, broken. 3.6, 3.7. If you're wondering why the speed test is faster, <laughs> right here, <laughs> that's why. You give it direct line of sight. Oh, dang, look at the uplink. 3.8 gigs down, 449 for the up. And I'll tell you what, man, if I was a, if I was a homeowner around here and I wanted to stick it to big cable or fiber, We'd be in play for the Verizon home internet here with those kind of uplink speeds and downlink speeds. It would be good to know if they get any business out here in that 3.9 gigs down, 326 up. I'm gonna run one more test. It's probably gonna start thermal throttling soon. <laughs> you can't just do this forever. Uh, man, the S24 is a beast though, I will say that. When it comes to cellular, it is a fantastic device. My device of the year, actually, personally. All right, 3.9 gigs down and 300 up. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and check our configs, right? Star pound. Uh, 0011. And so, oops. Let's go back. Some information. 5 megahertz band 2. N260, that is 39 gigahertz. And we got eight component carriers at 100 megahertz bandwidth. Right there. Oh, and then 10 megahertz of band 13. Okay. That's a lot of bandwidth, right, guys? You know, let's try a different speed test application. Let's try this one Speed Smart. Never know. Different servers, different 
software, whatever. Oh, it doesn't like millimeter wave. Ooh, does not like millimeter wave. Maybe too much throughput. <laughs> All right, so 924 down, 320 on the up. Uh, and the ads, man, come on. Ads on a speed test app. You guys are greedy. Let's try one more. Uh, it does not like millimeter wave. <laughs> too much speed, too much. Who would have thought that'd be a thing? Hmm. Uh, let's go fast.com. That's your video playback. Two gigs. One gig. Looks like some throttling there. I didn't know fast.com throttled speed. Interesting. Unless it's Verizon doing it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. Comment. All right, let's try one more here. Let's see what it shows for uplink. 820 down. Uplink's over 200. Mm, 360. All right, that's cool. All right, so it looks like uh, we got a bit of an upgrade at some point over the last several months where the uplink got a little bit better here. So I'm happy to see that 300, 400 for uplink is really good. I know in some markets people are seeing, you know, five gig here for the downlink and they're seeing like six, 700 for the uplink. We're not seeing that here yet. Uh, we're gonna probably need a little bit of help from NRD CNN 77 with the C-band piece. But uh, that's just some millimeter wave testing for you guys here. If Verizon starts putting up nodes in your neighborhood, it'll be a beautiful thing. Uh, but thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and comment what you guys think of the testing. What's Verizon's millimeter wave like in your market? Have you even seen it? Been using it? Comment. Anyways, have a great rest of the weekend, folks. And we'll see you soon on the next video.